Hey champions, good afternoon. How are you? How is everyone doing today? I can see Pranjali is here, Gungun, Babita, Science Lover. What's your name? Science Lover. Ashmita is here, Dipashri, Yashvi. Good afternoon, guys. A very, very warm welcome to this live session. Akanksha is here, Babita, Ashriya. Hi, hello, good afternoon. Nagendra is here. So many of you have joined in. Awesome. Welcome guys. Welcome back to your favorite channel. I am doing really well. Thank you, Dipashtri. How are you? How is everyone doing today? Hi, Swarnita, Vinal, Srijani. Science lover, still waiting for your name. Great Anshi, good afternoon, good afternoon everyone, Dhruvi, Kritika, Agrima, quickly tell your friends that the class has started. Correct, it's going to be a very special class today because we are going to cover the entire chapter in under 30 minutes. Yes, that's right, in just 30 minutes we will master this chapter fiber to fabric. Hi Tamali. Great, so let's wait for a couple of minutes, let your friends also join in and then we will kick start with this session. Thank you Dhruvi, hey Shruti, Anukriti, yes Nagendra in just 30 minutes, correct. Mrinal, Srijani, I keep reading the first name. Anukriti, Raj Kishore, good afternoon Pranjali. Raj Kishore has just joined. Awesome! Good, good. Shanmuk. Awesome, guys. Welcome. Yes, so meanwhile, when your friends are joining, we can do a little experiment. Right? So, I just want all of you to close your eyes for just 10 seconds. Quickly, quickly. Close your eyes for 10 seconds and I want you to think of a tree. Think about a tree. Think about a tree. Just 10 seconds you have, you can think anything. Close your eyes quickly. Good afternoon, good afternoon guys. Yes, a really little experiment that we are doing over here. Bonjour. Deepa is writing in French. Bonjour. Bonjour is good morning Deepa, isn't it? I know a little French. KRC Rao is here. Awesome, your 10 seconds are rough, your 10 seconds are rough. Now tell me one thing, did you imagine a tree or did you think of the word tree, T-R-E-E? -E? Quickly in the comment section tell me, were you imagining a tree, the image of a tree or was it the word tree that you were thinking of? Raj Kishore says, I was imagining a mango tree. Was it the image? Anukriti is saying it was the image, awesome. Ashwina says it's word tree. Most of you are saying it's the image of tree, apple tree. Aditya is saying definitely saw a tree, was looking, was imagining the image. Yes, most of you, okay. Cotton plant. Yeah, see that's how the mind works. Most of you were imagining the image. Yes, great. I think that's the power of visualization. Now that we are done with the chapter, we need to connect all the concepts. We need to visualize and connect all the concepts. And I think it's a very effective way of revision. Do you agree with me? Great. Absolutely. So by the end of this session, I assure you that your memory and retention both will be improved. For sure. Confidence pakka badega aapka. Great. Good to know that all of you. And yes, of course, you will be able to structure information more effectively. And that's what we need, right? It is right now, what's the time? Well, it is 4-4, right? By 4.30, we would have mastered this chapter. Isn't this amazing? Yes? So, we have everything sorted for you. All you need to do is quickly give me a green signal. Give me a thumbs up that this entire setup is working fine. You can see me, hear me properly. PPT is working fine. Yes, Aditya, I completely agree with you. Ankit, note it. Yes, Ashriya, now it's correct. 
Yes, Raj Kishore. Absolutely right. Great. Good to know that. I see loads of thumbs up, loads of smileys. Awesome. So before we kick start, quickly like this video if you're really interested to master this chapter in just 30 seconds. Quickly like this video right away and give me loads of thumbs up in the comment section that yes ma'am, we have liked the video and we are all set to learn and revise this chapter in under 30 minutes. Loads and loads of thumbs up in the comment section after liking the video. Quickly. Great. I am doing well, Shruti. KRC ne sabse vele like kar diya. Awesome. Yes, I hope you have subscribed to the channel because we are going to learn everything. Clear all the concepts with real life examples. I think that's the best way to learn, isn't it? All set. Great, awesome. And after this session, you can also connect with all of us on Telegram as well. Right? You wanted us to be there and we are there. So the link is there in the description box. After this session, click on the link and join us there as well. Great, I see Pranjali is super excited. Thank you. Vilas, Shanmuk, Dhruvi. All right, guys, I think everything is set. Let's get started. So, we are going on a journey, right? It's a 30 minute journey and let's begin. So, fiber to fabric. This is the name of your chapter, right? So, what are we connecting basically? We have fibers and ultimately we are going to have fabric. Now, how do we go from here to here? This is the journey that we will be. Basically, this is what we will be revising today, discovering today and there is going to be conversion of fiber to fabric. From here to here, let's travel, let's see what all happened. Yes? Great, awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Hey Anukruti, session PDFs will be shared. Don't worry. So yes, this PDF will, will be there pretty soon. Whatever you write in the comment section, we take that very, very seriously. Correct. Let's begin this journey of 30 minutes together. All right. So, first of all, let's understand fibers. All set? Great. Now over here. Fibers, what are fibers? They are the very thin strands, fine strands, right? They are the building block of a fabric. Subse basic unit, the most basic building block unit of any cloth material is a fiber. Really thin strands, right? Really fine strands. They are known as fibers. You have to keep giving me loads of thumbs up if the concept is clear, whatever I am telling you. As in when I go to the next one. Keep giving me thumbs up that yes, we know that fibers are like the fine strands and they are the basic building block of a fabric. Yes, Adit, they are absolutely right. Just like cells, correct. See, you are already interconnecting subjects. Now, these fibers can be natural also and they can be synthetic also. And we are on our way to synthetic fibers. So, what are synthetic fibers? Synthetic fibers are basically man-made fibers. They are manufactured in laboratories using chemicals. For example, polyester, nylon, acrylic. So, these are the three examples we have for synthetic fibers. We have loads of examples. Great. Noted, noted. Yes. Correct. Yes. Manjunath, absolutely right. So, yes, synthetic fibers are made by us. Now, we are on our way to understand natural fibers. What are natural fibers? Quickly in the comment section. What do you think are natural fibers? I think the name is self-explanatory that we get from nature. Correct. Yes. So, we obtain them from plants and animals. For example, jute, Cotton, silk, wool, all these are natural fibers. So, jute and cotton we are obtaining from plants. Silk and wool we are obtaining from animals. Yes. So, I hope natural and synthetic fibers is absolutely clear to all of you. If yes, 
I think just flood this chat box with loads of thumbs up that yes ma'am we know what fibers are, we know what natural fibers are and we know what synthetic fibers are. Let me see who all are super confident about fibers, natural and synthetic. Great! I see loads and loads and loads of thumbs up. Awesome, awesome guys. Let's move on now. Talking more about natural fibers, we have cotton at jute. So let's start our journey now to understand these two natural fibers. By the way, I just told you, are they being obtained from plant or animal? Quickly tell me in the comment section, plant or animal? I'll keep asking you questions in between because we have to master this chapter, right? So you have to be really attentive. Raj Kishore says, plant, Dipashri, Dhruvi, Deepa, Anshi, Manjunath, Ashriya, Kritika, Pranjali, Lakshma, Nagendra, K.R. Sirao, Akshya, Anshi, Manjunath, Swarnita, Vilas, Babita, Minal, all of you are saying plant and all of you are absolutely right. Okay, let's start with cotton. Yes? Alright, so for cotton, we know that we have cotton plants, right? A plant ke kis part se aapko mil rai fiber? Well, these fibers are obtained from the fruits of cotton plant. A very important point that you need to remember, right? Cotton is a natural, natural fiber, right? That we're getting from plants. Which part of the plant? It is the fruit. Correct, I see all of you are mentioning the same. Now, these fruits are basically known as cotton balls and note over here, we are slowly revising everything. You have to learn everything right now itself. There is no need to open the book afterwards. We will cover everything. Sab abhi learn ho jayega. These fruits are known as cotton balls. Now what happens? These cotton balls, they burst open and there are seeds present in this. So seeds covered with cotton fibers can be seen. So these mature cotton balls, they contain seeds. Now to get the fiber, what do we have to do? We have to remove the seed. Yes, yes Lakshman, they burst open, correct. Awesome. Yes, so they burst open, right? And now the seeds need to be removed. And this process is known as ginning. Kritika has already mentioned ginning. So it's a process of separating the seeds, right? from the fibers. So yes, you should know about the process of ginning. The seeds are separated by the process of ginning. Crystal clear everything? Great. Yes, Aditya, we are going to come to that really soon. Awesome. Now, I see some of you are already mentioning this. Aditya ne pehle mention kar diya ki Maharashtra mein cotton grow and he is right. So, cotton requires black soil and warm climate. And it's grown in Gujarat, Maharashtra and Telangana. You can see this over here. There are other states also that's producing cotton. But major producing states, we've taken three examples over here, right? Now, how to remember black soil? Really easy way. Cotton ka sabse common color kya hai? White, just opposite kar do. Black, so it requires black soil. Just a way to remember guys, so that you do not get confused. Yes? Give me a thumbs up if now you will remember that cotton requires black soil. Awesome. Great. I see a lot of victory signs. Yes, absolutely right. And yeah, the three states are really close. So you will easily remember this. Now the uses of cotton. This is a very, very basic point, right? used in making wig, shirt, bed sheet, mattresses, pillow, cushions, a lot of, a lot of substances around you. Yes? Yes, absolutely. Great. Good to know that Aditya. Yes, correct bed sheet. Curtains, summer clothes mostly. Yes, Raj Kishore, you are right. Uniform, all right. Yes, cotton is known as the king of natural fibers. Correct, correct guys. Awesome. So, now you know everything about cotton. Yes? Let's move on to jute now. Let's master everything about jute. Now, 
Jute is obtained from the stem of jute plant. Obviously, this is a very, very important point. Cotton kaha se mila tha? Quickly tell me. Quickly. For cotton, let's see, let's see if you remember. Yes, Nagendra, fruit and jute from stem. So, remember this. Both are being obtained from plants, but the part of plant is different. For cotton, it's fruit. For jute, it is stem. Moving on. Now, jute requires alluvial soil. I hope now you will not get confused. Cotton requires black soil. Jute requires alluvial soil. Warm climate is common. Cotton also requires and jute also requires. And heavy rain for that means rainy season is preferable for the cultivation of jute. It's grown in Assam, Bihar and West Bengal. So, there you go. You can see it over here. Yes. Great. Well done, guys. And, of course, the uses of jute. Something that we, you know, realize on a daily basis. Jute bag is there, jute sack, jute rope. All these are important uses of jute. How many of you are using jute bag? I hope you are not using plastic bag. Great. I see a lot of me, a lot of yes. Yes, carpets, correct, correct. Absolutely right. Oh, you have a small jute pouch as well. Great. Good to know that, guys. And with this, we know what fibers are. We know what natural fibers are. If this is crystal clear to all of you, then you have to give me loads of thumbs up over here that yes, we know and remember everything about cotton and jute. Loads and loads of thumbs up quickly and then we move on. Correct, correct. Great, awesome. So now it's time to convert fibers to yarn and how do we do that? We have a process called spinning. So we are twisting the fibers to bring them together. And this process is known as spinning. We have Takli, Charka spinning machines. These are the devices which we can use for the process of spinning. And kya hoga spinning se? Fiber will be converted to yarn. All the fibers will be brought together, twisted together and converted to yarn. Yes? Yarn are, yarn are basically the loose threads. Correct. Yes, so if, if you have to do it, on a large scale, spinning machines are being used. Who popularized uh, the use of charka during independence movement? Quickly! Let's see who's going to answer this one. Mahatma Gandhi, correct, Anshi. Awesome! Now, from fiber to yarn, we have safely proceeded. Now it's time to move on from yarn to fabric. Now, there are two major processes that we have. We have knitting and we have weaving. So, these two processes basically are going to convert yarn to a fabric. Yes? Correct, guys. So, knitting, when we talk about knitting, we are using only a single yarn. That's the keyword to remember for knitting. We are using only a single yarn. Yes? And it can be done using knitting needles as you can see over here. Also, this knitting can also be done using a machine. So, of course, manually is possible by machines. Both ways it is very much possible. Of course, in industries, they must be using knitting machine. Yes, only one single yarn. Correct. Yes, Anukuti, Ashika, Laksh, Lakshman, Sakshi. Correct, correct. Now, coming to weaving. What happens in weaving? Well, let's see. Here, the process is to arrange two sets of yarns, two sets of yarns together to make a fabric. In knitting, only single yarn is used. In weaving, we have two sets of yarns that is being used. Weaving is basically done using looms and they can be hand operated also and they can be power operated also. So, looms, you have to remember, is being used for weaving. Yes? Raj Kishore, it's not two yarns, it's two sets of yarns, okay? Yes, correct. All right, awesome. Now, for weaving, we have 
some vertical thread, some horizontal threads, let's understand. We've got weft and we've got warp. So the horizontal component, the horizontal component that you see, the horizontal threads that you see, they are known as weft. And the vertical stationary component is known as warp. Warp basically is providing a basis, it's providing support for the weft, for the weft, right? And what is weft doing? It's basically threaded in and out. It's woven over and under, yes? And that is how it is being made. Correct, correct. So, now we know how a fabric is being made, yes? So, let's understand more about fabric at this point of time. So, when we talk about fabric, we have variety of fabric. How many of you agree with me that we have, you know, loads and loads, loads and loads of fabrics, different types. And of course, evolution of clothing, all these are interlinked, yes? Great, awesome, I see a lot of you write about, yes ma'am. Awesome, awesome guys. Good to know that. So, you all agree with me. We are on the same page. So, yes, we have a variety of fabric. Let us let us explore more about this. So, depending upon the season, of course, our fabric is going to change, right? Spring, summer, autumn, winter. It depends, right? We really cannot wear winter clothes in summers and vice versa. Applicable for all, right? What other can be a criteria? We know that, you know, season is a criteria to decide what to wear. What other criteria can be there? Let's see. Let's see if you remember. Just think about this on a daily basis. Okay, fashion, all right. What else? Yes, season. Okay. I see someone write about winter season. Occupation, really nice place. Correct. Tradition. So, comfort, all right. So, I am saying what is the basis of deciding what to wear? Good, good. Absolutely right. Yes. Yes. I think we can recognize based on occupation as well. Yeah? Correct, guys. Absolutely right. So, we all agree that we have a big, a huge variety of fabric materials. Yes? Awesome! Now, coming to evolution of clothing. Talking of evolution now. Now, initially, we had the prehistoric era, then we had the medieval era, and then we had modern day. Right? We've come a long way. Do you agree with me? The history of clothing, the evolution of clothing is long and colourful. I keep saying this. Do you agree? So yes, initially we started with leaves, with barks. Correct. Absolutely. Then we moved on to animal hair. Then we started using animal skin. So we were slowly moving towards what, where we are right now. Then in between we also used, moving to the Medieval era, we started using unstitched clothes, right? At this point of time, there is no needle. At this point of time, you know, this sewing machine is not there. We are using unstitched fabric. Later, with the invention of machine, sewing machine, we started stitching, right? And then, of course, this is how modern day clothing has evolved. Great! Can you give me, can you quickly give me an example of an unstitched fabric that we are still using. Raj Kishore says, Sari, correct. Any other example? Dhoti, Sari, Dhoti, Turban. Awesome, guys. Yes, absolutely right. Great. Awesome. Yes, yes, you people have guessed it, right? So, if I quickly have to ask you, 
you have to be really quick in answering now, right now, okay. Okay. Cotton requires what type of soil? I, I'll be really quick in questioning, you have to be really quick in answering. Cotton requires which type of soil? Quickly. Yes, Lungi is correct. Black soil, awesome. Jute requires what kind of soil? You have to be really on your toes right now. Quick, quick. Alluvial, absolutely right. Okay. Um, next question is, name the process by which fiber can be converted to yarn. Fiber to yarn, quickly. I see loads of you are commenting right now. Great. Fiber to yarn. Spinning, correct. Okay, which process requires only a single yarn? Single yarn. Uh, yes. I, I can see the answer, but I want the rest of you to try it as well. Knitting, all right. Okay, which process requires two sets of yarns? Weaving, correct, correct, great. All right, which type of fiber is requiring warm climate, guys? Cotton and jute, correct. Both of them are requiring warm climate. And see, you remember each and everything that we have discussed today. This chapter you have mastered in just under 30 minutes, yes? Awesome. Great guys. I am sure you remember everything. So this mind map that we have just discussed will help you revise quickly. Learn and revise quickly. Yes. Great. So definitely your understanding will increase. Your productivity will increase. Just come back to this video again. Watch it again. And then when, we, when you will read the chapter, you will think that you know it all already. Yes. And with this. We have come to the end of today's session and as I keep telling you, we can connect on Telegram as well. So yes, join Telegram, you will get all the revision questions, session notes. So yes, this session that we just had, the PDF will be uploaded there, Sunday Funday Facts will be there, quiz, homework questions, session updates, everything will be there. Yes, the link is there in the description box, Aditya. Yes, the link is very much there. So, quickly join and we can connect there as well. So, you wanted the session notes, right? Session PDFs, they will be uploaded there. Great. So, yes, we've got you covered, guys. We keep telling you that we've got you covered. We have loads of sessions lined up for you. Really interesting sessions lined up for you. Correct. Absolutely right. I can see that. So, if you are feeling really confident about this chapter, post loads of thumbs up in the comment section quickly. And yes, when you will see the description box, there is another link for a free trial class. If you have not yet tried this, go ahead, try this out too. I see Raj Kishore ne pehle de diya thumbs up. Babita, Ashmita, Nagendra, all of you giving loads and loads of thumbs up. Awesome, Swarnita, Raj Kishore. Great. Bouquet is also coming. Awesome. And yes, like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. If you've done all three, give me three thumbs up in the comment section, guys. If you've done all these three. Awesome. I see, in fact, more than three thumbs up in the comment section at this point of time. Great, Dhruvi, Akanksha, Pranjali, Yashvi, Svanita, Raj Kishore. Madhusuban, Nagendra, Science Lover, Dawalit, KRC Rao. Awesome guys, you people are just amazing. So keep exploring the magic of chemistry and I will see you in the next session. Take care, bye-bye.